Hi guys, my name is Kendrick Celestine. I'm going to be talking about Father's Day. Uh, what do I think of Father's Day? Hmm. Well, I do think of some of the, you know, what I think of Father's Day. Hmm. Do I have any neighbors close to my dad? You know, let's see. Let's just say this. My dad, he was a good per. He was, he was a man. He was a hardworking man who had good qualities and, you know, he know how to work. He know how to fix stuff. He know how to cook food. And he know how to put food and know how to buy clothes and know how to make other things with tears. But I won't say he wasn't really the best dad I ever had, but but my dad did the best he wanted to do. But really, how to be for real. But um my dad really never me and my dad, we spend hardly like hardly any time with each other. I wouldn't say I wasn't really close to my father, but my father and I, you know, we had our own different ways of how we see towards each other. And, um, and to me, how I felt about my dad, sometimes he kind of did me wrong in a lot of ways, and I still haven't got about it. And sometimes I still hold on to it, but I just feel like to anybody who have these fathers, and I do feel sorry, I am, my heart goes out to ones who didn't ever have their daddies in, um, out there, and I really do feel sorry for all the lost cause for not having a father. I know you some angry sons, and angry grandsons and angry you know generations of kids when not having no daddies in your life because you know you're going through a lot of pain without your dad in the picture you feel like your mom did all the work had to raise you guys without your father in your life and i know that's some painful stuff and i went through the same thing just like you guys too and i really feel like i want to give my prayers out to you you know just don't be angry don't grow up with any hate try to have some good heart minded and get respected like don't get me wrong, not all our fathers are not going to be good to you, not going to do us the way, even if we're, if we're lucky, you know, we have a father who ever have a heart and, and a mind to care of us for that kind of wise wisdom. And, um, about my dad, what I think about my dad, my dad, all I, I know, I can say a lot of good stuff, but I couldn't really much talk about my dad because my dad wasn't really hungry much around me much, so I can't really know what to say. But, um, I'm not saying I don't really have, you know, any angry or any hate for my dad, but I'm still a little kind of disappointed, a little angry sometimes with my dad for putting me through a lot of mess, you know, and that's pretty much I'm angry about him is that, but but to me, I don't really have a hate for my dad. When I looked at my dad's life, his history, but when he went for the same way with his father and now what he did to me, and now I feel like, to me, I'm a man, I'm not even, I don't even have a woman with me, so I'm still single, but I'm still going through stuff, and I actually, I gotta make sure I'm uh, I'm straight, and I'm good with myself, even if I know if I go on to that next level, if I'm gonna become my father myself one day, and I'm not gonna, hey, I'm not gonna be a single man forever, so, I gotta try to do the best I can as a father, if I ever do become a father, if anybody who are fathers out there, but you know, tell me what's the good things, you know, what's your experience, not having to be in a, not having a father out the picture, you know, and dealing with your issues, Going with issues with the problems you feel like you face being fathers, and I know you guys are angry and still have that angry in your hearts and mind, and I know you're feeling that pain, just like I'm feeling that pain with you, you know. And um, I don't really never really talk about my dad much, but um, I think it's time for me to let out about how I feel about my dad, and it's like an energy I'm going through for him. It's like I put it like this: it's like a bandaid. It's like you cut yourself with a sword, and you have a sword. And you're trying to put that band-aid on you. It's like when you want to stop that wound from bleeding out, you want to put the band-aid on and make sure the bleed stops bleeding. You know, put some, you know, band-aid stitches or alcohol on it to make sure it stops bleeding. And I'm like, this see me. I'm put it like me. My dad's father, he actually got bleeded without his father. And then my dad, he got bleeded when he didn't have his father. Then I got bleeded when he, I didn't have my dad with him. My heart didn't spend it. Didn't have any memories with my dad. Now I'm the last generation to put that band-aid on that bleed, on that sore, to end that healing. So I put that band-aid on it make sure I won't bleed again. And make sure that stitch heals. So I will make sure my son won't have that same sore on him. So I'm the last to put that bandy on it. So put it like that. So to all you fathers and sons out there and um
fathers out there who are fathers, please comment, you know, see what you think of the video. So I appreciate for all you fathers, children, you know, going through a lot of pain and suffering, misery, and hatred in your heart. Please don't repeat your the ways just like your dad did. With all your ones you didn't have daddies in the picture, don't repeat them. Be better than your fathers were. Be better men. Be better, be better fathers. I just want to tell you that. Be the best dads you can. But even even sometimes, even your children, they look for a father for examples. And I'm not saying this because I'm not even a dad myself. So I just want to put that out there as a man. I want you to let you know, be the best man you can. Try to be a husband. Even your wives can piss you off. But still be the best husbands. Even she can make you angry and sometimes... Always present your children. Always try to present you and spend every second, minute, hour, day, week, month, year with your children. You know, spend every moment with your children, no matter if you smell them. Still spend every time with them, no matter what you're going through. Don't care how bad your situations, you go there when you need it. Even I don't care if you're going to the soccer. I don't care how born as you might think is born, but still try to be support for your child. You know, for your son or your daughter. Try to be the best as you can in your ability. So, anyway, I just wanted to take on my role on what's about Father's Day, what's about. So, all your fathers out there, you know, I pray, you know, hope you do the best and hope, you know, the Creator is with you all. And to the most, y'all, Yahweh. And um, happy Father's Day to all you fathers out there. And this is Kendrick Celestine. I'm out.